October 20th, 2023, Super Mario Bros. Wonder got released on the Nintendo Switch. It was the first major 2D side-scrolling game to be released. The last big side-scroller was the new Super Mario Bros. U on the Wii U back in 2012. To simply summarize, this is probably the best 2D Mario game since Super Mario World. The gameplay and visuals are absolutely amazing, the level design is fantastic, and the new power-up that turns Mario into an elephant is badass. That is definitely my new favorite Mario power-up. But there's one thing that wasn't included in the new Mario game that I feel like a lot of players didn't really notice early on is the time limit. There is no timer going on in the background when a player starts a new level in the very beginning. Some Wonder Flower events have some time limits, but other than that, there is no time limit at all when completing the levels from start to finish. This is kind of unexpected because the original Mario formula goes like this. Whenever a 2D side-scrolling Mario game gets released, there is always a timer on the top right or bottom of the screen that you have to pay attention to in order to time manage your way throughout the level. Certain Mario games and levels have different amounts of times that you need to consider when playing. A good example would be the game Super Mario Bros. 3. Most of the levels have time limits of 300 seconds, but certain levels that are more difficult will give you a 400 second time limit. The only three stages that have 400 second time limits are World 6-5, World 8, the Fortress level, and the last level in World 8. So the question is, why not include a time limit on the new Mario game? Well, I feel like the simple answer is that it's not necessary. By not having the timer, the player could take their time exploring the level and check out all the different details and items the level has to offer without being stressed out with the timer slowly going down. This is great if you're a parent and want to teach your kid on how to play the game without having to deal with the time limit. You could make the argument that the timer was part of the challenge of completing a level, but honestly, the game can be challenging enough even without the timer. But let me hear your opinion. Do you agree that the new Super Mario Bros. Wonder should or should not have a time limit in the game? Anyways, this is not the first time where a Mario platform game did not have a timer. The popular 1988 game Super Mario Bros. 2 didn't use a time limit. Well, the reason for that is probably because the game was originally called Doki Doki Panic in Japan, but when it got released in North America, it got changed to Super Mario Bros. 2 because Nintendo of America found the sequel too similar to its predecessor and its difficulty too frustrating for the American market. Another game series that I always liked playing without having to deal with a timer is the Donkey Kong Country games. These games were hella fun and a bit challenging even without the time limit, and those ended up becoming great games that many people still play to this very day. Overall, I'm pretty sure getting rid of the time limit in the Wonder game was the right move. I'm curious to see if other Mario platform games in the future will also not involve the time limit. Time will only tell. As always, thanks for watching.